welcome. In this how-to session, we will demonstrate how Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 can help in high-level reconciliation and detailed reconciliation of inventory and general ledger. The report used for high-level reconciliation is the inventory value report. The inventory value report are configured under setup, costing, and inventory value reports. You create an inventory value report by clicking button new and by assigning a unique ID. You need to assign a unique description for the report. We can call it inventory plus GL because we will use this report at end of fiscal period to reconcile our inventory and GL at a high level. You can assign a date interval that will be used at time of execution to calculate from and to date. When the inventory value report are used for reconciliation, you have to select a dimension set. In this report, I will reconcile based on the ledger account balance, and I will choose a dimension set that uses ledger account as base. In this report, we are only interested in inventory, so under financial position, we will only select the inventory. We are interested to compare the general ledger values against the inventory values. We have to select print cumulative account values for comparison. We can see that the inventory account is active and we select the ledger account in the drop down that matches our inventory. In my case, it is the account total on hand inventory. In this report, we will only reconcile based on resource group. So I will select resource group. In Microsoft Dynamics AX, we have a notion of physical and financial inventory. By clicking summarize, I will group them in the report. The resource type for this report will be material, which is default in all inventory value reports. And the detail level will be total and I can now close the form. The inventory value report is executed under reports, under status, under inventory value, inventory value. I will select the ID just created. We can see that the date interval code is inserted and from and to date is calculated. And I will print the report to the screen. and the report has been executed. We have our inventory section in the top level and the GL in the bottom level. On the inventory level, we have resource group, inventory quantity and inventory amount. In the GL level, we have the inventory and all the ledger accounts holding our inventory. I have a resource group called Car Audio, and we can see that it has an inventory quantity on 2600. It has an inventory value of 121,500. We can find the corresponding group down in our ledger section called Car Audio, where it holds a balance of 131,500. So we have a discrepancy. We have our resource group DVD player with an inventory quantity of 10,300 and an inventory value of 1,699,777.78. In the GL for DVD player, we have a corresponding value of 1,000,000 730,000. Again, we have a discrepancy. The total discrepancy of our inventory 
against the GL is on minus 40,222.22. This means that we need to investigate what transactions has caused this imbalance. For this purpose, we use the detailed reconciliation report. I will close the high-level reconciliation report. The report used for detailed reconciliation is located under Reports, Status, Inventory Value, and is called Potential Conflicts, Inventory, and General Ledger. You can specify a date interval code, which will be used to calculate and from and to date. And this report will examine all Inventrans postings posted between the from and to date. Under inventory, we need to select which ledger account we want to reconcile against. In this case, it will be my total on hand inventory account. I'm now ready to execute the report. This report can be executed both in batch and in client mode. The preferred method is in batch, but in this session I will execute it in client mode. And the report has been executed. We can see that the inventory balance has been calculated and a general ledger balance has been calculated. And there is a discrepancy between these two balance of 4,000 222.22. This discrepancy matched the discrepancy found in the high-level reconciliation report. This report contains also an inventory section where we are validating all invent trends and invent settlements posted in the period. And in the general ledger section, we are validating all postings occurring on the accounts that we have specified as being inventory GL accounts. In this report, we have found two errors. One error under the inventory section, and it is transaction posted on item A05 on a date of 26 of May and a value of minus 30,222.22. And we have a comment on what the error is. And the comment is the posting type inventory, inventory issue has been posted to a main account that does not represent inventory. This means that the system has not been configured correctly. And to examine what has gone wrong, we can actually press on the comment. And the system will open up the Invent Transform and it has highlighted the transaction in question. We can then go to the Ledger tab and look at the posting of this Invent Trans. And we can see that the balance account for the inventory issue posting type is 12100. I can then right click and select view details to see what account this is. And the system will tell me that this is a bond account in the asset. This account has nothing to do with the inventory. So the problem is that somebody has set up or configured the system to post issue transactions from the inventory for item A05 to this account. To correct this, we will have to revert the transaction and change the posting profile and then repost the issue. And then the system will be in balance. If we go back to the second arrow in the repo, under the general ledger section, we can see that on main account 002, also on 26th of May, we have a posting with the posting type ledger journal with a value of minus 10,000. And the comment on this transaction is direct postings on this main account representing inventory will cause imbalance. We will click the comment to see what actually has occurred. And the system opens up the voucher form. And we can see that somebody in the finance department has posted a direct ledger posting 
to our inventory account for car audio. So this is probably a person who wants to adjust the inventory value of our car audio. The problem is that this posting has been posted directly in GL. That means our inventory has not been updated by this adjustment. So to correct the system, we will have to revert this posting in GL and we will have to post an on-hand adjustment within the inventory. Once these corrections has been completed, you can rerun the report to see if the period balances. A summary for this how-to session is that Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 has a high level reconciliation report where we can reconcile the inventory and the general ledger per item group. We have also demonstrated that we have a detailed reconciliation report where each transaction that causes the conflicts can be found by the system and you can click to examine what exactly went wrong and that will help you correct the errors. Thank you for listening to the session.